conference so far with the mix, a very special mix of uh, Gaucher disease patients but as well experts and industry, all the stakeholders of the Gaucher disease are here present. I think it's a very interesting mix. I don't think I've ever attended a conference with such a mix before. It's either been with industry or with scientists or with patients and then to put them together I think it is something very much worthwhile. And sometimes you hear questions from uh, physicians or scientists, and then sometimes you hear questions from patients. But I think overall, I think it's very good. And then I've met some people that I have had interactions with before, parents, patients, and it's been very enlightening for me. And we are very honored to receive you here and host you during this conference. And uh, what will be the new um, insights uh, most likely uh, tomorrow that we would hear about from me you mean <laughs> uh, among else yes please <laughs> well we're trying to look to see if we can prevent the breakdown of the mutated enzymes in Gaucher disease we believe that part of the problem at least is the remaining amount of enzyme that is in the cells of the patients rather than a change in the catalytic or enzyme activity with the mutated enzyme, the enzyme is mutated like the N370S or the L444P. There's a quality control system inside of cells. It says this enzyme is not going to fold up properly and we're going to get rid of it. And it gets rid of it and we found out that cells from patients with Gaucher disease have less than the normal quantity of enzyme rather than uh, necessarily a change in how active that particular enzyme is. So we're now trying to develop ways to increase the quantity of the enzyme and I think there will be a way to do that and I, shall, I, I can talk about it now or I'll be talking about it tomorrow morning whichever you prefer. I would be uh, very excited to listen to you during the session tomorrow definitely. Thank you. And um, any other exp impressions you would have you want to relay to the audience? Well some of the things that I think about actually that are, have not been touched upon and probably the advances have not been very significant at this point are what can we do for patients with brain involvement? Very little has come out of the meeting to me so far that, I, that I've attended. Perhaps there aren't very many things or very many new things coming. So I think again without being egotistical referring back we're trying to develop a small molecule therapy Hopefully that small molecule will get into the brain and raise the activity, the amount, and consequently the activity of the mutated glucosidase in the brain. Mm -hmm. I suppose uh, I shouldn't expect anybody else to be doing it. I'm doing that, but there is some precedent for this concept in other conditions such as cystic fibrosis, Niemann pick type C, and even type 2 diabetes. And we think that this same mechanism of raising the amount of the enzyme in cell will probably have a bit of benefit in the Gaucher uh, community for these patients. Mm -hmm. now, the second thing, of course, is the last uh, session and the last talk in this session, which I look forward to, is the potential of gene therapy. Now, we have tried ourselves gene therapy was not very successful and we are interested of course can we cure these people by gene therapy and one of the ideas we had which I was never able to bring to fruition in my laboratory was what benefit can we get from lentivial vectors and this is the, exactly the last talk of this meeting so I am looking forward to that with great anticipation so are we, and thank you very much for your time. Thank You're you, welcome. Doctor.